guys you're welcome to my youtube channel my name is olamide abegoke and i'm indeed glad that you are here if you are new here you're welcome thank you kindly subscribe to this channel um, i speak on relationship marriage model christian lifestyle i also teach bible stories that can help edify people and make you a better person so if you are new here you're welcome if you are a returning subscriber you know how much i appreciate you thank you for always coming back guys to watch those video and if you are new here i want you to please subscribe to this channel let's grow this channel together everything around relationship marriage and more that you find them care okay so please subscribe now and also turn off the notification bell so that anytime i upload new video you get notified okay you are blessed <laughs> what i want to discuss with you now is what most ladies experience especially by the time you become an adult and you mingle with guys of opposite test okay there is every likely that you experience or you must have experienced this and today i want to talk to you on how to deal with it right i want to speak on setting boundaries with opposite sex and slightly i will talk on handling emotional uh, entanglement okay all right let's get started um let's be truthful with ourselves there's always a time when you get attached to a particular man or a particular lady i'm sorry if i'm focusing more on ladies now okay i'm so sorry if you're a guy uh, a man and you're watching this sorry if i'm focusing more on ladies there's always a time as a woman or as a young woman as a lady when you begin to feel some kind of attachment to an opposite sex especially if that person is your friend maybe you go to school together you go to class together you take bus together take school bus together take taxi together you go to church together so don't forget this also happens in the church right it happens a lot in the church among youth it happens there's always this attachment you know between you and someone you like that person you want to spend the rest of your life with that person even if the person is not talking about that area you just have this trigger within you that oh, i like this person and most of the time uh it doesn't even work the way we think and many ladies are victim of this and they end up feeling disappointed because the person they thought they were attached to was in one way or the other not even thinking of settling down with such you know the person is not thinking of marriage the person is just thinking of friendship okay <laughs> right so today i'll be speaking on how to set boundaries with opposite sex at the same time how to handle emotional entanglement with the opposite sex <laughs> all right i listed some points and i'll be looking down to share my phone let me first give you this point and that is know your word my dear sister it is very important for you to know your word. the bible calls us a princess of the most high a royal priesthood first peter tonight a peculiar person a special person you're so special to god you are so so special to him and you are a princess so you should be treated specially okay please know your word many ladies do not know their words so they sell themselves so cheaply to a guy i mean look at a guy that is always he doesn't even care about you and you're already falling for him you know know your words know that you are very 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 special to god know that god loves you know that you are so you, you weigh a lot know that god cares for you know that you are a princess and when you know this you will not sell yourself cheaply to other person now the next point is set boundaries in communication these days that we have social media and many platforms to communicate many ladies or many even guys abuse it okay for instance on your um, maybe whatsapp there is this guy that is always sending you love emoji 
why is he sending you love emoji when he is not interested in you and you're already calculating it in your head oh i'm in love somebody is sending me love emoji somebody is um you know sending me love language and honestly most of these guys when they've not proposed to you, when they've not made their intention known to you, they are just playing on your emotions. Don't allow any guy to play on your emotion. The heart of a woman, I am a woman, the heart of a woman is so, so soft. So it is very important for you to um, set boundaries in communication. If a guy is saying hi in the morning, hi love, what is love? What is the meaning of that? Say hi my baby. Why is he calling you baby when he has not told you that he's in love with you and he wants to marry you? So it is very important. Lady, please wake up. Set boundaries in communication. There is no point in asking you money after no night. I know that relationships sometimes start from friendship and from friendship it goes, you know, into courtship, dating and from there into marriage, right? That, that is true. But that is for those who know where they are going right there are some guys that they just want to play on your emotions they are sending you love emojis don't forget that that same guy is also sending it to another lady so he's not sending it only to you right so set boundaries in communication also don't uh, show your weakness to a man let me tell you women bible will liken us to a weaker verse right but that doesn't mean that you don't have any strength in you that doesn't mean that you are not strong, you know. That doesn't mean that you should be very, very weak emotionally, right? It's very true. Women, we are so soft. We can easily be deceived, right? But you must know your what. You must know what you weigh. You must know your what and set boundaries. Don't allow a guy to begin to talk. I have seen cases of people that, they did not even propose to each other and they already found themselves having sex yeah i've seen i've seen in my in my little experience in this counseling uh <laughs> in this ministry of counseling I, I have seen a lot i've heard a lot there are people that the first person that had sex with them was just someone that they did not even talk about marriage he didn't propose but just because the guy was going beyond boundary and the lady did not, you know, stop him. They ended up having sex. Many people lost their virginity to people that did not even love them. All on the basis of friendship. Please set boundaries. And I rather you should set boundaries is in the area of body contact. Oh my God, there are some women that when you see the way they care, you see the way they value their body, you see the kind of value that they place, place on their body, you know that they don't really, they don't know their what. That's the summary. Right? A guy is touching some sensitive part of your body and you are laughing, you are, you are joking, you are smiling. Eventually, you will find yourself on the bed of fornication. Know your what. And set boundary. If he's already touching those areas, he's touching your breast, is is one of the other, uh, you know, seducing you, caressing you, kissing you, and you are still there smiling, then you are already going beyond boundary. This should not even happen in a Christian relationship. This should not happen in a, in, in a courtship. Not to talk of you not having anything together, all in the name of friendship. Is every now and then cuddling you, every now and then touching you. Please set boundary. The Bible says that our body is the temple of the living God, right? So you should not be doing immorality. You should not be you should not be involved in immorality you should not be involved in things that will make you sin because too much body contact with opposite sex can lead you to sin or fornication okay you get that all right another thing that is important for you is to avoid infatuation infatuation is fake love it can be likened to lust right avoid infatuation there is no no lie that a time will come when you want to fall in love or when you fall in love but you must 
avoid infatuation. Infatuation is the love that is not real, right? Maybe just because of something, maybe because the guy is handsome or you're already thinking, ah, I wish this is mine. You've not prayed. God is not leading you and you're already falling in your heart. In fact, you're already dreaming of having fun with such person. The love is not real. This happens a lot. So you must set boundary. Immediately, it's not a sin for you to feel that way because we all have hormones running around our body, right? You must immediately wake up and set the boundary. Discard it and you can as well pray for God's grace. And then that will lead me to the next point. Seek counsel where necessary. Many ladies today are... Uh, they made that mistake of not speaking up or you must know the kind of person that you seek counsel from the bible says that in the multitude of counsels there is safety right but if you go to the wrong person for counsel it can lead you to error okay for um you you know the son of david that seek counsel from the wrong person and because of that you know he he, he messed up his life and his life was cut short right you must you must seek counsel from the right person maybe from a friend or someone who you respect the grace of god in his or her life open up and speak to such ah, i'm already feeling this way towards a particular person what do you think i should do or maybe you you have a friend a senior friend or someone that can just help you please speak up another thing that you should do lastly is to pray about it yeah pray the bible says we should pray without sinning and we should pray about everything you know making our will known to him making our needs known to him you need to tell god this is happening to me um i i can see that a guy is passing his boundary i don't know how to end it holy spirit and i know that god will help you if you are sincere he's going to help you and you're going to overcome that stage please don't let it get to the point that you're already emotionally entangled before you speak up. Because most of the time when you are emotionally entangled, it's so hard to break out of that. And one thing is this can even affect you hearing the right message from God. It can affect a whole lot about you because people that are emotionally entangled, most of the time i in love with the wrong person and this person can uh, abuse that opportunity and they end up regretting their steps so um as much as possible set boundaries with the opposite sex. some people say oh opposite sex they are my best friend i i have guys i i used to have male friends as male you know both said as my friend but i can tell you point blank that it doesn't worth it there are good people in your gender that can be good friends, right? Yes, you can have them as friends. Don't wait till one opposite girl, one, one, one guy mess up your heart before you now know you've already missed it. Please make friends with your gender. This will help you a lot. And please, if you're watching me, also be a friend to someone be a good friend to someone a friend is someone you can trust the bible says there is even a friend that stick closer than a brother you know be friend with someone that you know that if you or she tells you something it's telling you the right thing and not someone that will lead you into error okay um i wish you well i wish you the best i pray that god will help you and give you everything you need to overcome um, the temptations around you all right, please like this video again and share with someone. I will see you again. Bye.